Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I wanted to talk to you guys today about a question I just keep seeing pop up all over social media, all over all of the flower pages, all over Instagram. I just got my bulbs, I just got my peonies, is it too late to plant? Well, I'm in that same boat. I just got another shipment. Oh, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna unbox them in just a few minutes. So, a few videos ago, I had mentioned that I was um, holding out for a very specific peony that it had sold out uh, from the wholesalers that I was purchasing from. And I found it on some websites like Brex and stuff like that, but it was like $16 a root and I wasn't about to pay that, especially for a 2-3-I. So, well, it turns out Ebony had their green sale and I got an email saying, clearance, here's what we have, here's what's in stock, first come, first serve. And I think within six minutes of that email, <laughs> I had ordered uh, 25 of the Black Beauty peony roots that I have been holding out hope for. I tried ordering them from Ebony um, over the summer and I had gotten a notification that, sorry, we're actually out of those something must have happened they must have found them or discovered a, a stockpile of black beauties that they didn't have before so i ended up securing 25 of the black beauties and they just came in the mail last week but my ground was frozen so i couldn't do anything with them and on that same note i had ordered some tulips and some daffodils and i also had been missing a bag of 100 tulips out of my edney order that i don't know what happened it just didn't show up when all of my other bulbs did back in october so i had this pile in my kitchen it's still there i'll <laughs> i'll take a little shot of it so i have this pile of things that need to be planted and my ground was frozen we've had nights in the teens here uh, brad's been driving the tractor around and it's frozen solid so i kept checking the forecast kept checking the forecast and sure enough we had a weekend that was going to be in the 40s so i said okay well at least maybe i can get the shovel in the ground because it's not too late to plant these things as long as you can get the shovel in the ground if you can move dirt you can still plant your daffodils, your tulips, and your peonies, or any other bulbs you wanna get in the ground. It's even possible to put them in the ground next month in January. Say you have a January thaw, put them in the ground, tuck them in as soon as you can move the earth, even if you have to shovel the snow out of the way. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is yesterday was the first 40 degree day. I was able to get a shovel into the ground. It was still frozen. The, the first two to three inches of ground was frozen, full of little ice icicles inside the dirt. So what I did is I shoveled those out and put them into my little wagon and I brought it into the garage where we had the pellet stove going. So I was able to dig, oh, well I already had the holes in. So I had the holes, I had the burn holes in the plastic. I just needed to take out that top layer of dirt because underneath that three inches, the soil is already workable. But I didn't want to cover my peony roots with that frozen clump of dirt. So I wanted to thaw that out. So it's been in the garage overnight. I think it was in the 60s in the garage with the pallet stove on. And then the low last night was only 40. So I know it wasn't gonna freeze up again. So right now I've got that dirt all thawed, all in the wagon. So I'm gonna open the peonies and I'm gonna bring them out there and I'm gonna plant them right now. It's actually <laughs> quite windy out today. We had a wind gust um, pick up at 19 miles an hour on the new weather center. I love that thing. So it started to rain here yesterday while we were eating dinner and um, it calculates the rate of rainfall. So it was raining 0.76 inches per hour according to the weather system. So I got a weather system for my birthday. It's from Accurite. Um, there are a bunch of different models, um, a bunch of different companies, but it was such a useful gift for me on the farm. So it's, it even showed me this morning, I was checking it out and I said, yesterday we received 1.02 inches of rain. How helpful is that? So that's going to allow me to determine whether or not I need to do extra watering on my plant. I'm excited about that. Anyway, I just saw it in the distance while I was um, walking out here. I thought I'd mention it. Okay, so this is the package from Edney, which is going to remain Edney for this department, um, even though it's gonna be owned by Ball now. I'm sure you guys saw that Edney is now owned by Ball Seed. <laughs> okay thank you here's my acknowledgement 
Yup, 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 yup. Okay, so these are 25 Black Beauty peonies. They are three to five eyes, so they're a little bit on the larger side. So I hope the holes that I dug are going to be big enough for them. There's a lot of <laughs> stuff in here. Ah, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> oh contact lenses are dangerous with, with this um, vermiculite. Okay, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six beautiful eyes on that one. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but woo, I can see eyes on all of them. So this is fantastic. So I'm gonna go take it over to where we're gonna dig them and put them in the ground. According to my calculations, and I checked in my notebook where I keep all of my notes, there are seven empty holes on that side. And then that should be, I don't even know. I just know there are 20 holes filled on the side closest to me. So I'm gonna fill in the rest and then we'll see what we have left. Cause I also have the two peonies that Jake sent me. Gotta get those in the ground too. Wouldn't you know it, I am two holes shy of planting all 25 of the Black Beauties. I have these two beautiful roots left. I do have space at the end of this row, there's space for another two holes, and at the end of the next row, there's space for another two holes. So I have spots for the two that Jake sent me and these two right here. I'm also getting four, I think four black beauty roots in the spring. One of uh, my viewers uh, heard that I wanted some black beauty roots and so she ordered some for me and is having them shipped in the spring. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. So we have to get the burner because I have to burn holes and hopefully the ground thawed enough overnight, which I think it did. It feels pretty pliable. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the hole burner and then make some more holes in that. My burns omatic It's starting to rain out here. And I just hit a first rock. Right here. I can't plant there. See if I can, maybe it's not huge. Oh, I think it's pretty big. I've shown this method before. This is a burn zomatic and it's just a little propane thing and you turn it on and it's a torch basically. So I use this. This is an old spoon countertop spoon holder, but it's made out of metal, so it's safe to use. I put it upside down and I burn a ring around the bottom and it burns about an inch away, inch and a half away from the base. So the opening will be a little bit bigger than this. We've used it for all the peonies, so it's nice and charred in there. And then you have a hole to plant. And I have spaced my peonies out 24 inches on center. I'm just gonna eyeball it on this one.
So I knew that I had some daffodils that had yet to ship to me and I knew they were coming late. So what I did over here is I dug this way in advance. So this has been sitting here empty, waiting for something to be put here with this giant pile of soil off to the side. So for these daffodils, I don't think I plant, I don't think I ordered very many. Yeah, I think there might be 20 or so in here. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna plop these in and cover them up quick. There's rain all over the lens. It's starting to rain snow here. It's like right at that temperature where it's kind of thick and icy rain. So the top layer of that pile of dirt is the only stuff that's not frozen right here. So I cannot effectively bury my daffodils to the proper depth. So what I did is I had a lot of soil left over from where I dug out the peonies because some of those roots were big. So obviously you take out the soil, replace it with the root, not all of that soil is gonna go back into it. So I have this crate of leftover soil. So I'm gonna just dump that right on top. Okay, so now I'm just bringing everything back to the house. I've already brought the burns matic and that metal tin that I used to burn the holes. I'm so, so bouncy, so sorry. But I'm bringing everything else back to the house. <laughs> I just got everything back to the house and realized that, remember that rock that I hit? I couldn't plant that peony there. I decided I'm gonna save that peony and I'm gonna plant it in my landscape in the front. And I put it on the blue tarp. Do you remember what just happened moments ago? So now I have to go. <laughs> Axel. Now I have to go dig a peony out of the daffodils. I think I dumped most of the, it was a good peony too. It's got like eight or 10 eyes. I think I dumped it over here, but then I stepped on everything. Uh, come on. Could it have been on the ground before? Where'd it go? So, I had it right over there. It must have fallen out of the tarp when I first took it out of the, out of the wagon because it was on the ground right there. Oh my God. Thank God, look how beautiful this is. Let me get my hand out. That is, a lovely peony root. <laughs> I took a quick break for lunch and the situation has changed. Oh gosh. It's dropped five degrees, it's 35, which is not, you know, horrific, but it's windy. It's sleeting like on my face. It's not snow, it's not sleet, it's not rain, it's just these like little, white little thingamabobbers. And I have 300 and something odd bul bulbs to get in the ground, so I just need to start going. Oh, we'll talk about it later. Okay, so I'm using my drill. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Guys, I tried. I can't use a drill to plant tulips. It's such a waste of space. I've gotta use the shovel, I can't do it. Okay. I'm legitimately out of breath because I just sprinted to the house to get the shovel. So when I'm doing the bulb, I'm just, they're too far apart and I have over 300 to put in this patch here and I wasn't gonna have enough room if I went with the drill. So 
Shuffle is better. Okay. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Battery. Okay, so this last set of probably 20 bulbs or so in here was a gift from Jake from the Wholesale for the Small Sale Grower page. It was in my box, <laughs> unbeknownst to me, and it said, I, th I thought I, I said earlier in a video that it's, I thought it said surprise, but it says special treasure. And I, <laughs> it makes me chuckle. And uh, I messaged Jake and I said, are you really gonna make me wait? And he said, yup. So these, we have no idea what they are. It's kind of fun, like I'm gonna put them in the ground and we'll all find out together what kind of tulips they are. Special treasure. I said, well, are they different than what you already sent me? And he said, yeah, they should be. So <laughs> it'll be fun to figure out what it is. <laughs> Yay, I'm done, oh my gosh. I'm done, 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 done. All of the bulbs and the peonies for the season are in. Yay, it's December 13th. It's December 13th. I never imagined that I would ever be able to do this. I'm in upstate New York, zone 4B. We usually have a significant amount of snow on the ground right now and our ground is usually frozen. This is a different microclimate than where the peonies are. That ground where the peonies were was much more frozen than this ground over here. This is a different area. The peonies are way, oh, you can see the fabric right there. The peonies are over there. So this is a little bit of a different microclimate. The stuff that was over there died from frost before the stuff that was over here, if that makes sense. So it's a couple degrees off. Anyway, what I just put into the ground was purple exquisite, actually. It came with tags. It doesn't usually come with tags, but thank you. So they're little purple, almost like the ice cream ones. <laughs> and that's ironic because the 100 that I ordered from Jake are also the ice cream ones, but they're, I think, green, more green ice creamy ones. And then the surprise special treasure, we'll have to find out what that is in the spring. So that's even more exciting. We'll have something to to find out together. So anyway, I am going to, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can pot up some tulips and sell them in pots because they, Edney sent me like, like a dozen of these tags. Um, so maybe I'll get some little terracotta pots and do some potted tulips sales in the spring. So that'd be fun. Wasn't planning on doing that, but maybe I will. So if you still have things to plant, as long as you get a little bit of a thaw and you can dig into the ground, you can still plant your stuff. So don't worry about it. If you have stuff to put in the ground, you know, keep checking your forecast. There's gotta be some sort of a thaw coming up. So usually everybody has a January thaw and that's still not too late. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna go inside us, it's just me. Thanks so much for joining me. <laughs> it's cold, I'm freezing, I'm gonna go inside. I bought those molds to make the hot chocolate bombs. Have you guys had those? I've seen them all over the place and my kids thought they'd be super fun. So I bought the molds and we're gonna try to make some today. I'm gonna make some like homemade pizza and stuff for dinner. So it's gonna be a rather lazy, well, it's not really lazy, right? <laughs> Making hot chocolate bombs and homemade pizza. It's gonna be a relaxing, warm day. We're just gonna go inside and have hot cocoa and pizza, so. We'll see you next time. I gotta shovel the dirt over top of them. What was I thinking? Let me take a picture for...